better to help Matt out. We don't pick these cases all the time. <laughs> All right, Jason, let's go ahead and finish you up this evening. I believe you're REZ 2018 10. Is it Kaylin Gill Tucker? Is that what it is? Yes, sir. Um, ultimately, the request here is to take a portion of a very well mapped land community and allow for the construction of a single uh, residential house. I, I believe Ms. Kaylin is here uh, for the commission. I know you had questions about the status of Southern Landing and her plans for one house versus many. And, um, our indications are it's for her own personal residence. <coughs> Um, she's requesting R10 um, because that's really one of the choices that she had for moving forward with this. For the subject property, I will tell you based on your questions at the work session, so this is the current aerial that I wanted to show you all. You can see the clearing that had taken place and the improvement around those wetland lake areas. That all happened probably around 2006-2007 time frame. You can see a small bridge across the wetland areas and really that's kind of the extent of the physical movement on the property for the southern landing development. Everything else has been kind of in a holding pattern since the economy really slowed down. They were here um, right when the economy was booming, had plans in place, and then just pulled back when the economy really started to slow down. So that was the area I wanted to show you last week. Um, we do, in this case, have a, a bit of a better recommendation. We have um, inconsistency with the future development map, but approval with multiple policies in the comprehensive plan because of those single family residences across the street. Uh, ultimately, we're trying to work with the property owner uh, while still trying to honor what we have. So I do think Ms. Kalen will be able to address some of your questions, but otherwise we did find that as a recommendation for us. We do think it's worth moving forward on and something that can be worked with from what we have. And the zoning was left blank in the TRC recommendation? Uh, sir, Ms. Carmelo really, again, on, on this one, um, struggled with it because of the development map versus the goals and policies of the comprehensive plan. She was not here today, and so I don't have a completed recommendation from her, but I do think that she was leaning towards approval on this one, more so than the Hughes case. The Hughes case, we had a whole different level of debate and background, whereas in this one, I think she wanted to think about the case. Ultimately, I think the discussion that we had between planning and zoning was whether or not to require Southern Landing to um, redo their site plan to accommodate for this, whether or not to use this as an opportunity to require them to do that. And so my recommendation was this was not a time to require that. I think she was on the borderline about that. So that's where I think she left out, but she was not at work today and I didn't press her out being out of the office. Do you have a, do you have a am I missing something? Do you have that carved out 20 acres someplace? Yes, sir. It should have a, uh, a survey within your packet. Oh, I'm missing it. Yeah, just if you don't, I, I apologize, but it is. It is. It's a 20-acre portion that's reflected on those maps, sir. Okay. Okay. For, uh, commissioners, any questions for staff? Actually, would you mind going back to the slide showing the current area? Yeah. So where's the, approximately, where's the, where's the property? So that's you can see on, on the blue line here, and it's really faint, but, okay. so her 20 oh, acres okay. is the very southern, okay. Okay. southern okay. portion of this. Okay. There we go. So it is, it is right down here against the Enoch Lake Circle. Mm -hmm. So it is, um, beyond putting it at the front entrance, they, they put it in about as much of an isolated location mm -hmm. on the property as they could without getting into the heart of that master plan. Uh, okay, any, any more questions for Jason? Copy that survey, I apologize, I didn't make I think it. I found them, yeah. I found the back page or something. No problem. Uh, any questions for staff? There being none, is anyone, anyone here tonight wishing to speak in favor of this request can come forward at this time? Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request <laughs> And come forward at this time. She was hesitant. <laughs> <laughs> we won't buy it, we promise. Uh, Alan Tucker, 
on the curve there? Is that in it like road or drive? Um, you might get it. I'm not sure. Oh, you didn't want to come up and start with that. Uh, I see what it is. <laughs> he runs this house, huh? Give me two of them, four, nine, six, one, three, six, nine. Off the heart of the main road, we can come up here and try to drive off of that way. Okay. And, uh, and push back in and do like a, a little shop. So we'll have it off the dirt road to the shop. Okay. The road. So you said the main road is because that Enoch en en Lake Road is open? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions? Thank you both very much. Thank you. Anybody else wish to speak in favor of this request? There being none, anyone here wishing to speak against this request? Anyone wishing to speak against this request? Come forward. And there being none. Commissioners, close this part. Any discussion on this case? There being none, I will take a motion. I make a motion. Gladwin. I make a motion to go ahead and recommend approval of this case, REZ 2018-10. I have a motion to approve for Commissioner Gladwin. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Commissioner Wiles, any discussion on the motion and the second? There being none, all in favor of this motion, please see if I raise your right hand. <laughs> it is slow, but promising it is unanimous. On this case, thank you very much, Commissioner, for your participation this evening. Uh,